now, I would say I made the right decision for a couple of reasons. Number one is We are using already rewire for almost two years. My name is Sandra. My name is John. We both decided uh, to invest a house in the Philippines. But, uh, we have to send money or remit money and uh, we chose for rewire. We chose rewire because uh, first and for foremost about with the uh, charge, uh, it's quite low. I can recommend rewire because it's safe. I will always recommend it to my friends. Mga minamahal kong kababayan, inirerekomenda ko ang Rewire app tuwing magpabadala tayo ng pera sa minamahal natin sa Pinas. Hello, my name George here. Welcome to our channel. And today, we have a very special guest. This is your nurse, Harold, again, back for another video para sa'yo. I am a nurse in Ireland. I started working there in 2016. And then after four years, I decided to move in the UK to venture my career as a nurse as well. That's one thing na ano, that's one thing na parang interesting kasi they, they said no, na parang there's a difference between Irish and, you know, the English. But for me, you know, as I don't know, maybe it's a personal opinion, I would say, but I, I had no issues with my with with people with dealing with people from both nationalities um environment wise especially sa trabaho even if you know managers are are english back uh, in ireland irish as well but you know they i don't see like parang you're you're left out walang ganun so patience wise attitude of patience i i don't see as well like a big kind of approach And then maybe when it comes to being more straightforward, I think um, dealing with people, especially next of kin, something like that, they're more straightforward compared to the Irish. Because the Irish, medyo ano sila, hindi, if ever galit sila, they will not tell you or you will not see on their face na galit sila. For example, if they want to complain, they will not, um, they will not say, I will report to the pals, I will complain. To something like that. No, they're not. They're not. If, for example, like if they're happy, they will say, "I'm actually a bit concerned. Um, I've just noticed because of this and that. Uh, I don't know if you can do something about it." They, the way they, they they speak, they're more kind of not straightforward. Unlike some more put in, uh, I I'm not happy with this. I'll complain. Like okay. <laughs> Man knows best. So because in UK, because here we're getting around nine patients in a normal day nine or eight patients in a normal day long day but in in ireland in a medical ward they usually get five five patients and then max the young six more pero yung yung benefits nila is hindi ganun ka ano parang if you go compare to the uk like here you're totally free di ba Though you you're paying for your insurance on your national insurance, but at the end of the day, hindi mo siya mafeel kasi it's on your deduction straight away. Parang ganon. Dito is totally free, but doon there is a limitation. Um, parang for example, GP here is for free. Doon naman it's not like you have to pay every time you will make an appointment. So it depends on like depends on what GP. Um, sometimes you will pay. 40 euros sometimes 60 euros in every visit that's not one it's every visit that you have to pay for that so you know it's like health is wealth don sa no don sa ireland you will be thinking na oh, i will be going to the gp uh, no i have to spend another 60 or something like that but dito is like i'm not well I call the gp uh, you have phone conversation you can face do face to face it's for free now hospitalization wise It's for free here. Everything bad. Do naman. I think you will have a cap. Man knows best. Surprisingly, um, 
ang accent ng kasi double na ko eh, double na ko nag nagtatrabaho. So yung accent ng double at saka yung accent ng ng Londoner should they say British or English. Hindi siya ganun ka difficult. Um it's only some of the words, the slang words, medyo doon sila nagkakaiba. Pero yung you know, yung yung manner of speaking, your accent nila para I'm a bugger. If you're from Dublin, you think that Dublin is the only place that exists in Ireland. When um, it's hindi siya ganun ka ano, ka, ka big factor na you won't be recognized, you won't understand it straight away. But in Ireland, I would say, if you will be living outside Dublin, yun yung parang challenging kasi the more you go countryside, the more the accent changes. How to nice be too I like? Can be done about you, nothing. Changes. I don't know here in, in the UK kasi I haven't been to a, uh, through a lot of places. It's mostly in London. If they had the sense proper jobs, they wouldn't be up to all this, you know, lark every night. What? New car. Man knows best. So, um, if you are, uh, I think um, it's almost the same if you are on the, the entry level. For example, like Band 5 dito, and then kakasimula mo lang doon. It's, it's nearly the same. No, actually, actually a, a few people would say, mas malaki yung South Ireland. And that's what I thought before. I might be wrong, but that's what I thought before when I first came to Ireland. But moving to the UK, I actually said, there's there's no big difference kasi if you're working on a regular shift i would say long day shift three days in a week um in a month you will be getting 2100 euros 2200 euros which is if you will convert naman dito like in my case i'm a band file i'm just starting as a band file i am being paid at around 1900 pounds that's all deductions and uh, walang sundays walang walang nights sometimes 2000 if you you know So if you'll convert that amount into euros, it's it's nearly the same. I was thinking maybe it was more like there's a difference of 300 pounds or 200 pounds. No, it wasn't like that. It's it's almost the same. The only thing in H HSE uh, pay scale in Ireland is the more experience you have, the more your scale will go up. Even if it's your first time, for example, if you are working in the Philippines for 10 years and I work for three years and I move to Ireland, basically, mas malaki yung sahod mo kasi of your experience. Dito naman, you have to go back to band 5, eh. Man knows best. Oh, um, I'll be honest, there's there's no regrets at all kasi I am happy, I'm happy working in the UK um, and I'm happy with my life in the UK um, because... I uh, know. What should I say? It. It's a it's a big city. You can can do a lot of things. You know, you want to travel as well. You can go anywhere you like. Transport is much much accessible if you want to go somewhere else. And then life wise, um, I'm happy because I'm with my wife. Um, I have a, a good um, unit where I work now. Um, they're all friendly. I had no problems with my. My first couple of months, they're very supportive. Even my, you know, manager as well. Our band six, band sevens, they're just quite good. So, people-wise, because I'm not really, you know, not a friendly. <laughs> I'm not that social, sociable. Like I always go out with no, no. So I, it's it's been fine. But of course, I would say I am thankful for my, you know, my, how should I say, it? my training back in Ireland. Especially in the hospital, that's always one thing I am thankful about. Because when I came here, it was like the others struggled. Like, oh, this is here. You are here to be legal. That's it. 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 That's As I, as I mentioned before, yung computer system, yung referral system, yung S-bar mo when you're dealing with, you know, calling someone for a referral or escalation, which is, you know, something you have to to learn if you're first time working in an in, in a in an um, English let's in the UK. That's one thing. Parang pano ba tatawagan yung doctor? Parang gan, how should I say it in a more, let's say, detailed way? Which I'm thankful about when I was in Ireland. I, we had, you know, experience who always taught me that you have to do it like this. So when I first come to the UK, calling doctors were parang hindi na siya ganun ka, ano, 
kakatakot. Kasi when I first come to Ireland, parang ayaw akong tumawag ng doktor. <laughs> Kasi like, you know, all these questions and then English wise. But I remember when I was, you know, when I was in, uh, share ko lang Philip ha, when I was in in the nursing home, I never answered a phone call for four months. And they were always asking me, why are you not answering any phone calls? Be, well, I don't know what to say and I'm afraid I might not understand what, you know, what the, what the person is talking about in the other line. And then, you know, I think it's true. Uh, experience will teach you in, in, uh, in life. Always remember, Manong knows. Manong knows best, but you always do rest when stay.